It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. My friends, there's a rare cancer out there that affects 350 children per year. It's called rhabdomyosarcoma. Uh, and unfortunately, it affects one of our local residents. Uh, it happens to be, his name is Jordan. You know all about him. He's Congressman Barletta's grandson. Um, a lot of things have happened uh, since um, Jordan was um, diagnosed. And the community is doing a lot of things. And Bob Curry is my guest today, no stranger to the Sam Massange Show. He's the founding president of HIP, and Congressman uh, Barletta joins us to talk about this uh, interesting things. But things are happening here that I think are exciting to help families that are, have the same situation. So, Bob, thanks for coming on the Sam Massange Show. Well, thank you so much for having us. Uh, don't be a stranger to the show. I'll okay. try my best. Uh, now, you tell. Joe Madden, uh, I can only speak to him once a week anymore because he's been calling me like every day, okay? And I'm giving him advice. We're having a conference call on Sunday to straighten things out on the field. Um, you think he could do that for me? I will do that, but um, I'll, I'll, ask, I'll ask him as well to start sending checks more frequently to you so well, then maybe your advice can... Increase or get better. Exactly. Okay. He's doing a great job. I yeah, mean, he is. He's, he's, he's doing, he's, the Cubs uh, are in first. Yeah. Bob, you, you uh, when you call me, okay, explain to the audience exactly what you know this, how this thing evolved uh, on Jordan, and um, then we'll talk to the congressman as to the personal end of these things. Um. Sure. Uh, what happened exactly was, I, I believe it was early May, that there was an article in the newspaper concerning the congressman's grandson, Jordan, and it described the cancer, the rareness of it, and the fact that it just, um, it doesn't really reach into a greater community because there's only 350 kids affected. And the families feel so isolated as if they can't connect with something larger. And so the children from Maple Manor School all got together and they organized this support for Jordan. And so I'm sure that it was one of the most meaningful things in this little boy's life to have all those children come out in support of him. And then, of course, it has a greater effect because other people see it. And one of those other people is a boxing instructor uh, at the Hazleton Area Rec Program, the Hazleton Boxing Club. And he called me up and he said, hey, listen, Bob, I saw that and, and I don't want to feel powerless here. Is there something that we could do? And he came up with a concept called Fighting for Jordan. And he thought that maybe all the members of this boxing club could put on an exhibition or maybe even have some matches where the proceeds, some of the proceeds could go to helping these families, these families who may not have the economic wherewithal to continue the kinds of treatment or research and development because few enough children are affected that it doesn't reach the threshold for National Institute of Health or some of the major hospitals. So these families really feel isolated and left on their own. So I was meeting with the congressman. I spoke with the congressman about this idea, and he had told me that his family was starting a foundation for all of these children. And then I thought, gee, we've got to get involved in this. So I reached out to Joe Madden. He's 100% all in on this. Uh, Keeman Jackson, once again, he's got our kids, the kids that are in the boxing program, excited about lending their efforts all to support Jordan, all for fighting for Jordan. And we're starting it, we're kicking it off as a visibility campaign this Saturday on Community Day from 10 to 3. Uh, we're doing our exhibition at noon and we'll have, uh, I believe, a lot of people there, and we'll, we'll start to announce some of the steps that we're taking to work towards this and to help all of the families out there who are in this unfortunate situation. So kicking it off, uh, which is, would be June 29th, okay? Uh, that's a yes, Saturday. Yes. Uh, folks, you know, we run this show after June 29th, but if you're watching it before June 29th, tell me what's going to happen uh, that day. I mean, well, that Community event. Day is now an established day. We, we really have a lot of fun. It, it's such an 
easygoing, family-oriented day. We've got music all day. We've got carnival games for the little kids. We have three different kinds of bounce houses, all of them kind of unique. We've got food vendors there, face painters, clowns, balloon twisters. So it's a real carnival atmosphere. Happens during the day. It's not a late night event. And we've had a tremendous participation from the community and a very diverse crowd, by the way. It's open to everybody. It's open to everyone, of course. Yeah. And um, so we already have those things. We have the police department will be doing a canine demonstration. <coughs> we've got uh, the fire department will be there and a bunch of organizations, uh, nonprofit organizations, who have the opportunity to disseminate information and let everyone know what it is they do and how they can be reached. So it's really a nice event for the community. Everybody seems to love it. And um, right in the middle, at noon, we're going to kick off Fighting for Jordan with a boxing demonstration and exhibition. That's fantastic. Now, the um, Lou, <coughs> grandson, uh, I have three grandchildren, love them dearly, as we all do, uh, and when they get a cold or they have the flu, my wife and I are like nuts, okay, let alone something that you guys face. So tell me, what, what happened in your family? How do we, how they find out about Jordan? I mean, what was the, the process here? Sure. Uh, Jordan's a twin. He has a, he has a twin sister. Um, they were miracle babies. Uh, uh, I have eight grandchildren, and uh, at, at the age of 18 months uh, last year, we found out that Jordan was diagnosed with this very rare form of uh, pediatric cancer, rhabdomyosarcoma. Right, yeah. He pain in the abdomen. He was having pain in his abdomen, and uh, you know, my daughter was taking him, you know, to her pediatrician, and at first, you know, looked for the natural causes of, of what it would be, and. Um, unfortunately, we then found out that Jordan had a tumor, and a tumor was diagnosed as this rhabdomyosarcoma. <clears throat> um, obviously, your world is turned upside down. I mean, you, you have a little baby, uh, you know, that should be playing with, you know, dragons and normal things, and all of a sudden, um, you know, you're, you're dealing with a cancer, and that you don't have no idea what the outcome will be uh, for him. Uh, so through this process, uh, he ended up having surgery. The tumor was enormous. It grew. It's a very fast-growing cancer. It was the size of two large grapefruits. Um, he had to have major surgery. Uh, Jordan will need an, a, a, a year of chemotherapy, a very aggressive type of chemo that makes him very sick. Um, my daughter and son-in-law seems like they're taking him back and forth to the hospital three, four times a week sometimes, maybe more. And realizing that he's going to need more surgeries as he grows up, um, and so his life is going to be obviously different than a normal little boy's. And you know, through this terrible thing that happened in our life, uh, the, the the day that Bob talked about Maple Manor was was something that I'll never forget, and I'm sure Jordan and 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 the family will never forget the the school that my daughter teaches um, teaches at Maple Manor. They began uh, this. This, they, Jordan's Army. It was actually uh, a couple people that I'm friends with started a Jordan's Army um, fundraiser to try to help offset the, the, the cost of this. And they had jerseys, Superman jerseys, made up. And uh, the next thing you know, they were going to have Jordan's Army Day in in, the, in the Maple Manor, and that grew into in the Hazelton Area School District. And before you know it, children were purchasing these. Superman Jordan's Army shirts and they had this special day where they could wear the jersey and that's the day Bob was talking about where they flooded a football field with children uh, for Jordan and it was then that I realized that we cannot let something so terrible uh, that happened in Jordan's life define his his life that something good has to come out of it there, God is, is such a good God he would never let something bad happen without there's got to be some goodness in this somewhere somehow and I realized after watching what he'll go through and what my family is going through my daughter and son-in-law are going through that why don't we start a foundation and put it towards research and helping other children who we don't even know and other miss you know children who are gonna may not have the wherewithal to, to to do what they need for their children. Why don't we raise money for them so that Jordan 
as he grows up with this terrible illness, can be proud of the fact that what he went through helped other children and other families. And that's, uh, Bob and I got together and, and uh, he came to me with, with this idea and this will be the first monies that will be going into this foundation that we hope will, uh, will make a difference in, in people's lives. Lou, you know, uh, research costs a lot of money, okay? Um, a lot of money mm -hmm. for research. But what do they know about rhabdomyosarcoma today? So, you know, my daughter, you know, obviously when you have something like this happen to your child, you, you begin to become an expert on it because you, yeah. look, you look for every article, right. every story, or every piece of information you can get on it. And, and unfortunately, there's not a... Um, you know, as they're treating Jordan, and you know, she talked to some of the best hospitals in the world about about this. And uh, unfortunately, if, you know, there's not a lot of history on and what's the right and wrong to how did do. How they name it? Uh, I don't know how they named it. I mean, it, I mean, to find the name has to be something that well, uh, the, again, the, the, uh, this 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 tumor was in his abdomen, so okay, uh, nice. rhabdomyosarcoma. Right, right. Uh, it's a, and it's aggressive cancer, and and um, you know, so I, you know, Bob is right. I, probably not a lot of research dollars are going to yeah. this since it, it only affects so many little children. But right, so this this money will be designated strictly for this. Particular. So the mission the mission of the of the foundation will be to do research, uh, to to put money towards an, an organization or a hospital that will be doing research on rhabdomyosarcoma and uh, there's an end and putting money towards families and children who have it because. There's a lot that, you know, that, I mean, the expense, this is forever. Oh I mean, this God, is not, yes. this is not going to end. It's not a surgery. You're done and good luck. It, this is a lifelong battle uh, with this cancer. So we're hoping that, that this foundation can really take off to be something really good. Mm -hmm. And that as Jordan grows up, he can maybe find pride in the fact that, hey, what I went through, look at what I, yeah. look how I'm helping people. Has your daughter or your son-in-law or even you or your wife contacted any other families that children yeah, have? Yeah, so my, my daughter uh, and son-in-law, they, they, uh, they belong to a network of, uh, across the country of, uh, of families that have this, t this type of cancer. In fact, it's a very uh, exclusive type of uh, networking where they only let one of the family members actually participate in it. And they talk about what they've gone through and what what results they've had. So it's, it, there, there is a, um, um, you know, there is a connection of families that have this, this type of cancer because uh, it, it's sometimes different than other cancers that we see. But, you know, anytime you see a little child with cancer, you know, you, you wonder why, why does this happen? But it doesn't have to be all bad. There could be a good ending to this. And I think the foundation um, might be a start. And some of the people that your um, daughter has spoken to whose children are affected by this, um, have there been some happy endings? I, uh, I mean, now, are all the children uh, who are affected by this uh, cancer, will they go through the same thing that Jordan went through, or are there different types? No, of it's, it, it's, it's different depending on the, on the uh, severity and when they get it, when they find the cancer, where it actually where it actually uh, grew. Jordan's cancer started in his uh, prostate and grew very rapidly, even though he was getting chemotherapy, uh, grew very rap rapidly into his bladder. And unfortunately with this cancer, Sam, um, di different chemos work on different cancer cells. And this type of cancer, as I said, is not, uh, it's not an easy one to deal with and it, it grows very rapidly. So, um, you know, he's had to have a extensive surgery and, and, and a lot of chemotherapy that's, that has other side effects to oh, it yeah. as well. Yeah. So um, it's, not, it's not something you want to see a little baby go through. Okay, so Bob, in, in putting together then uh, the monies that you're going to uh, raise for this foundation, um, this will be ongoing. I mean, it's ongoing. So if someone is watching the show today and it's after your event and they cannot make the event, and they like to, you know, contribute to the foundation. It's not going to Lou Barletta's, you know, checking account. It's going to the foundation. Uh, what, what do you advise them to do? Well, right now, uh, the Hazleton Integration Project, or HIP, is a 501c3 registered with the IRS. What that means is that any contributions, charitable contributions to HIP, 
can be tax deductible. And this is a very important point. And this is why it's important for us to get involved. We have agreed with the congressman that any money that comes in for Fighting for Jordan or Jordan's Army through our program will be held until uh, the congressman is able to get his own 501c3 with his family foundation. At that point, and we are as transparent as could be, we will take every cent that was donated for this campaign and turn it over to the Barletta Founda Family okay, Foundation. So what you're saying to me is, um, if I wanted to give you a check and I wanted to do it as, as a tax write-off, okay, yes. in order for me to get that tax write-off, I must make it the hip but I'm going to designate on it. I want this for the Jordan for fighting for Jordan's um, foundation or whatever. Um, you should know that this is where this money goes. Okay. All right. So let's assume we send you a check, and I'd like to see how things are going. Can I come and say, uh, Mr. Curry, I send you a check um, a month, two months ago. Uh, could I see where how much money is in this account right now? Absolutely. Uh, as a 501c3, one of our obligations is to be open and transparent to any requests. I only say that because I don't want people to hear again to think we're making a check out the hip. <clears throat> hip. How does it affect this foundation? This the hopefully someday try some find some kind of cure to help these um, these children. Yeah, I, I think it's a really valid question, yeah. and it's a, an important point of order as well. This is, at this point in time, certainly the best way to accomplish the goals that all of us have with this program. And Folks, so, so, yeah, let me just add, add to that. So in, in, in how the community had come together with Jordan's Army, which was started by uh, Sherry Homer and Kristen Nash, uh, to raise money to help Jordan's parents uh, with the cost of it, this is going to be the growth from that will be now a foundation to help other children. So it'll be different than the money that was raised to help uh, Jordan specifically. Folks, I'm talking to Bob Curry, who is the founding president of HIP uh, and former Congress in Barletta. Interesting thing. Um, they don't agree politically. You know, it's, it's interesting. And uh, we come back, we want to talk about what is the political side, you know, and how does a community then get together and where do we put our where do we separate our our political feelings versus helping humanity be back right after this welcome back to the sam lasan show folks remember 24 7 ssptv.com now folks something new and exciting has happened we have a brand new website and if you don't have an app just go to your phone and just uh, search ssptv on your website Every show, everything you want to know about what we do is on this brand new website. Um, you're going to find it really exciting, but it's SSP TV if you want to download it. Uh, my guest today is Bob Curry, who is the founding president of HIP and former congressman Lou Barletta, talking about Lou Barletta's grandson, uh, two years old Jordan, has an extremely uh, rare form of cancer called rhabdomyosarcoma, and it affects only 350 children each year. Uh, so many things are being done. There's uh, having a community day, which is June 29th. However, this show is, will be seen after June 29th as well. And there's a foundation, Jordan's Army. Now, once again, Bob, the foundation is going to do what? The Jordan's Army Foundation. The Jordan's Army Foundation and the reason that we think that it's such an important effort on behalf of the Barletta family is it's going to be able to support all of those families whose children suffer from this debilitating disease. Now you think about that 350, it's such a small number. And so for them, it could be critically important that the monies raised through this foundation can go directly to helping those families, those children, as well as research and development. So we find that to be such a compelling story and to be able to reach out, not just to help one child or one family, but to see the bigger picture and to be able to look at all of those families and understand as parents and grandparents what they go through and to be able to help is a gift. You have 350, let's say 350 families throughout the United States. Well, multiply those families by all of their relatives and their friends. Do you think this, this foundation could become contagious to whereas they would be able to ditto what you're doing, other, other families that have their children who are affected by this cancer, 
that would grow into you know other found raising money across the board to increase the research money you, you think that could be possible well you know that's a beautiful thing about it sam you never know who's how our lives touch another life yeah and how you know that starts something else that you, you really didn't even know that you were connected to and i i really do think that there's a fraternity uh within people who now have to deal with something they never imagined dealing with in their life i mean i never imagined you know dealing with i mean when, when a child is born especially into your family whether it's you know cousin or grandson or a son or daughter you, you just picture the best for them. You picture how their life will be growing up. And, and then when all of a sudden it all changes when you find out uh, this life is going to be different, that this is a special child. Your foundation that we're starting right now mm -hmm. is going for research, all right? And so, uh, again, if, if, if there's a network, and this mm -hmm. network is aware of that we have you know, what you're doing right. with what Joe Madden's doing, uh, the coach, uh, you know, uh, manager, uh, coach of the Cubs. I mean, there's all this information that, well, we never know what these people have, who's, what right. connections they have to raise money for this foundation. I'm only hoping that this would thing would be contagious. Yeah. When you talk about working together, and I alluded to this before that, and Bob and I, we're going to have a good conversation with Bob uh, about a lot of concerns you have about HIP and the organization, but not on today's show. But, you know, I, um, it's politically, you know, you, you may not agree on political issues, okay? But when it comes to what you said, Bob, um, when it comes to a, 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 a life and it comes to a cancer, these political things dissipate. Well, it, it's often said that politics make strange bedfellows. And while that may be true, there is a point where all of us really need to take a good hard look at ourselves. And if we cannot get together over something as basic and as human as a child with cancer, then we have lost our way not only individually but as a nation. And personally, and I think Congressman Borletta would agree, I'm not going down that road. I believe that our humanity is still what ties us together and whatever we have to do to maintain that. And this is a way of showing how important that is for all of us to work together to help children with cancer. I think it's fabulous. I mean, I really think it's great, uh, you know. And uh, Bob and I had a discussion, folks. There are a lot of concerns sometimes, uh, minor concerns about uh, the programs. But let me just tell you this. The foundation, okay, you, know, it's, you can get a tax write-off. The idea is t you have to make the check out to the HIP organization. It's a 501c3, uh, so you can get that tax deduction. Please jump if, I'm, if I make a mistake. Absolutely. All right, so you make the check, and, and then that is, then you designate, I want this to be for the uh, Jordan's fighting, uh, Jordan's army for the research. Uh, anytime you want to see where your money is or how much money came in, uh, it's transparent. There's no problem. Bob's number is 570-233-5309. He's allowing me to say the number and put it on the screen. So you, it's open book. The idea is we're going to be hopefully able to, in the future, do something to, you know, to, to help these young children. It's 350 children, but yet when you have one child and it affects one family, Nothing else matters, you know, it's, it's, it's affecting children. So I, I applaud the both of you, and um, Lou, uh, uh, I, I, know, I know what your family has gone through from the many conversations we had, and uh, you have a lot of support, politics aside. Bob, congratulations on what you're doing up there. I really appreciate that. You guys are doing a great job. Well, th thank you so much for saying so. And uh, the other thing, if anyone has any questions about the way we operate or what we do, that also is 100% transparent. Feel free to contact me. We'll set up uh, a, a tour of the building or just walk in even unannounced. You've done it yourself how many times? Yeah. And uh, we are an open book. We're proud of what we do and we think we're making a difference. I think you are and I think what we're going to do, uh, folks, the show Bob and I will have and whomever, we're going to talk about a lot of concerns and questions that you have about the operation, etc. But it's a fabulous opportunity to bring people together and educate, educate, educate. Uh, wish you well, okay? Uh, we'll see you next time.